Hi, so after extracting expressmailerpro.de zip file, you will get these files. So under readme file, you can see all the details like uh, how to set up, what are the tags which we can use, and uh, what are the features, and what we need to make sure things are all right or not and what are the updates so these things are there so let me show you how to do the setup so uh, first of all let me give you a brief inter introduction so this is a software which is used for okay leave it first we have to install install window.exe file so that is here we have to install it i agree install okay after installing close it now the second thing was enter contact details in contact csv file subject and bullet is in data file sender smtp email and app password and from name in the sender csv file okay so here under contacts we can give our contacts this is mandatory and first name last name address city these are optional only contact is mandatory and under required data file we have to give subject and body so for example this is my first Subject to take your email marketing to next level, the Express Mail Pro, and this is my body. As you can see here, and here I am using this tag, and that tag was given here. Like this tag I am using, each tag will be replaced with contact email address. So this will be replaced with contact email address. Similarly, there are other subjects bodies so i have given six variations so six into six it will be total 36 combinations okay and in send data i have given my smtp email and passwords password and from names so these are mandatory so and under test contacts we can give test contacts for testing purpose only so this is our setup and if you want to use gmail api download api json file rename it with email address example this and give email and password and from name values send a data csv file place all your gmail apis after renaming in gmail api folder and select server as gmail api and email per api plus two for the first time and proxy as yes rotation time is around two minutes make sure proxy rotation is also set to two minutes for the first time for a new api this is for first time only after the setup you can increase the number of emails per api and adjust the rotation time accordingly for example for an email per API. so this is it so for this we have to download the api rename it and give email and password renaming so this is the step so i have already downloaded the gmail apis and i have placed them here so i have renamed those files with the email address in this way only and for all these accounts i have given their account email and password here and from name for all so after doing this you can save it and select server okay so let me show you after saving all the details close your cc files run express mail pro exe file and login you can choose an html file to attach as attachment just place all your html files in the html file folder okay so 
if you have any HTML files you can place here like this is the HTML file okay so everything is ready and we are not having any pending API approvals and okay ready made files so these were the files and this is new emails file this is for reply and for initial setup we don't need it let me show you how to send first we will run our robot here you can see version 3.0 is available and this is the download link so you can always check the updates so here i'm logging in my account I'm logged in and here you can see I have given zero contacts subject six body six so there there can be total 36 combinations from name 20 senders are 20 total APIs are 20 here in SMTP server I'm selecting Gmail API and for the first time only we have to select two only two emails per API and uh, attachment type PDF image image PDF ready made files no attachment so these are the values so I'm not sending any attachment so we can ignore the from name of the file also and API token generation we can choose manual or automatic in automatic mode it will automatically log in to the account and approve it and if you require any authentication you can choose the manual option for that so here I'm using automatic mode and we need to use proxy yes and here we have to give host port username password and the rotation type and speed should be one and so from where you can get the host port username password you can choose any website but i'm using proxy empire So here you can see I have 97 MB data left for my residential rotating proxies. So here we can select single port also. If you don't need your accounts, you can tick here and you can directly copy paste from here. Just copy it and paste it. This is in this format host port username password. And but if you are into our accounts then you can just specify the time as 110 seconds the first time update this successfully and just copy this on removing everything and pasting this here and pressure after second as uh, as our this is 110 then we should keep it as 120 so I'm typing it 120 1 to 0 speed should be 1 for the first time to, and post should be 0 so here I'm I should select test send here I've given my test contacts which are 20 so for first few it will work so I'm clicking on test send before that we should close any open file i'm clicking on test send so it's creating a connection now this window will not be accessible this window but this is accessible so it is automatically logging into the first account it will take some time and the accounts are being opened using proxy and getting logged in so this is happening automatically it will log in to each account and approve our express mail pro apis
in case of manual you need to log in by yourself and complete this so this is the normal process you don't have to worry here now you can see in green so the email is sent okay now one minute is remaining for IP rotation so this is for first time only first time only you have to wait but if you don't want to keep your accounts longer then you can skip this part you can simply use the single port button and in that case you will be giving rotation time as zero but in our case i want to keep my accounts alive for a longer time period so i'm using this proxy and this is for first time let me show you for second also so this process will happen for only once and you don't need to worry about these logs these are just some random logs this will appear for first time only okay now it's turn for the second account It will automatically log in your account. So for all the given accounts this is the setup process for the first time only so after doing this you can stop the board let me first see if it is able to send the mail from the second account also so it is making the connection success this time we are having different IP and we are sending mail yeah the mail is sent Second mail will also be sent. Okay, now again it is waiting for one minute. So I'm stopping this now because the setup is complete for two APIs and we can close this. Okay, so now if I open it again. Now here under created token files, you can see the tokens are created for this. We don't have to do anything for this. So out of 20 APIs, we have created for two APIs and we can use these two APIs to send emails now. But in your case, you will be doing this step for every API and then it will be available for all the APIs. So here I'm logging in. Now I'm selecting Gmail API and here I can select any number of emails per API. So I'm selecting 50 and total APIs are 20. So let's select no attachment. If I want, I can send image, PDF and all. So here I'm selecting automatic, use proxy, yes. And here I can give my proxy. And here I have to adjust the time accordingly for example 50 emails will be sent in two minutes so this will be around 120 seconds but to be on safer side i will give 180 but to, for a buffer time i'm giving 170 okay so now here under 
Here I will be queuing this. Rotation time 180, email per seconds 15. Okay, now I can click on send and the emails will be sent easily. So let's see. Now it is sending emails. at a very high speed from the same from this API so you can see the email is being sent to all with the same IP at a much faster speed as I am having 20 contacts only in my test contact file then only 20 emails will be sent so this is the process of sending emails using gmail api let me show you how to use smtp okay so this is finished here you can see finished all So after sending all the emails, we can close this and now I will show you how to send using SMTP, Gmail SMTP. So in this case, I will be using here we have to give uh, email and app password. So for that, let me show you which account I'm having. So this is my email. And this is my app password. Okay. So now I'm running my bot again. <coughs> Here I'm using Gmail SMTP one sender only attachment yes or no I'm sending images this time here I'm selecting I'm using tag proxy I'm not using and I'm clicking send Just ignore the logs. You can see email is sent to this and again email will be sent to the other one. And I can show you the email. Here you can see this was my email address, and here I'm using the same email. Here you can see my email is delivered to me from this from them. Here is my attachment image. And here is my email and this is received in inbox so similarly all the emails are sent so I'm stopping this one also 
So there are other options I would like to choose. So similarly, there are other options also. If I'm, we can use G, iCloud, other SMTP also. So let me show you how can you use other SMTP also. Now here you can see iCloud, here you can see other SMTP. So here you can give SMP host and SMP port. You can clear used contacts from the contacts field. You can select file type as PDF, image, image PDF, ready-made files. In case of ready-made files, if you select this one, any random file from the ready-made files folder will be picked up and will be sent. Okay and if we can use proxy we can schedule send in case of schedule send we can give a time by at what time we have to send the email campaign we can click schedule send button and it will wait until that time and once the time is reached it will shoot the emails we can fetch unread emails we can send reply also to fetch it will use gmail api so first we have to select gmail api mode as automatic and here you should choose proxy and it should be your minimum time like 90 seconds here i'm giving the proxy and waiting for 90 seconds one one or 15 and click on fetch unread emails so here you can see It is fetching for all. But in this case, it failed because now after fetching, if we go under this new emails, here we can see our email API and what are the emails this is the first sender what was the subject this is security alert and what was the email so email was this similarly if for the same account there was another mail for this account this was these emails so these we can fetch and if we have to reply anyone we can just under reply column we have to type yes in small letters subject hi my reply and my from him yes and we can save it and we can send the reply by using this and we can click send reply The reply is sent to this 
by this for that only so this is it this is our functionality you can have a trial and all thank you for using i'm logging out closing it